what's up everybody welcome back to the channel if you haven't had a chance to do so by now please be sure to like comment subscribe and share and to go a step further i ask that you please tap the notification bell that way you'll be updated each and every time i'm uploading something new also make sure you're following me on instagram at yb speaks as well as my business page at tika naturals speaking of the oils are almost done i will be starting work on the soaps and the scrubs child hello god and we'll be making a pre-order announcement very, very soon. So again, make sure you guys are on it, girl. Because the pre-orders is where I do most of my sales at. Hello, guy. So I highly suggest that you guys get into it. Because first come, first served. I'm a very, very, very small business. And my products do sell out really, really, really fast. Especially the, the oil. The hair oil, girl. Okay? Hello, God. Um, and if you would like to donate to the platform in a monetary way, please feel free to do so. Uh, the cash app is YB Speaks 19. Okay, that is YB Speaks 19. Uh, speaking of all things YouTube, I literally, before I started recording this video, child, I got a notification in my email, YouTube, um, <laughs> which is so stupid to me because I already did the selection like a year ago. Um, once my platform became monetized, uh, I put an age restriction on there because my platform is not suited for children. If you're under 18, okay, feel free to watch my shit if you want to. Everybody lies about their age and every other situations in life, right? My content is useful. Hello, God. It, uh, the things that I talk about, I feel like all ears should be able to hear. But let's be honest here. Children may not be able to comprehend the complexities of what the fuck it is that I bring to this channel, all right? And when you look at my demographic, it's people 25 to 45, pretty much, all right? And miraculously, I have like an even balance of men and women um, that view my platform. So, hey, shout out to that. Um, but yeah, girl, I feel like they just did that shit because it's just another way um, to demonetize my channel, demonetize my videos, and to kind of like, you know, shadow ban the girl, so to speak. I find it weird that I just, I get a notification, even though I already signed up for it, it already says that my stuff is not meant for people under 18. So the fact that y'all reiterating the fact is letting me know that, girl, as soon as I did that conversation about, you know, Dr. Greer exposing the truth and all these things, I find it kind of weird that I'm getting this notification yet again. Anyway, girl, whatever. On my way to the gym, girl, Florida weather, girl, let me tell you, so that's how I know the world is going through a shift girl because honey we got a lot of crazy weather phenomenon happening down here girl some days it's, it, some hours it's beautiful but for the most part girl please <clears throat> it looks like <laughs> the this part of florida at least is going to be under somebody's water girl okay and speaking <laughs> about being under the sea, honey. Okay, under the water. <laughs> girl, y'all catching this tea, girl? Um, These billionaires, child, they're, they're lost in some kind of submersible, you know, vehicle, child, underwater vehicle, some handmade trash in somebody's fucking bored life of a garage, child. You know, they built this shit with motherfucking uh, Father's Day tool sets, child, and um, old tired ass pawn PlayStation parts. And y'all over here sitting, oh my God, they're lost. They're probably dead. And all of these different things could have happened to them. You think? <laughs> you think? Girl, please. Apparently, girl. Girl, can you hurry up? Your car is about the size of that submersible girl that the kids is looking for. Submersible. That sounds like some sex shit. Come and be my submersible, girl. Like a sub bottom, a sub twink, girl. A submissive bottom. Well, <laughs> technically, I guess they are submitting to the bottom of the ocean, girl. Let's get into it, girl. Child, apparently, four to five billionaires, girl. You know, they have nothing else better to do, honey. It's the summertime, child. So they want to do some outlandish shit, just like that little trash they be doing, um, taking that little trip to outer space, little five minute trip to outer space, paying all this damn money. So girl, apparently it's $250,000 a pop. 
um, for an underwater expedition child uh, through the, <laughs> the depths of the Mariana Trench where uh, the Titanic wreckage is, girl. <sighs> girl, first of all, if you guys are aware, like all of us are aware, that this submissive bottom um, mechanism that y'all was in, girl, was built out of Lego parts. Um, just let's go on right under Sanford and Sun, girl, and down to the trash piles and see what we can find and build a submissive bottom uh, vehicle, girl. The controller itself is made from a knockoff brand version of a PlayStation remote control. Girl, so I'm gonna be real. I, and I know this sounds insensitive, but I don't feel bad for shit. Y'all got all of this money based off of your intellect, whether it's generational wealth or not, I'm quite sure there's some into high intellect here. Obviously y'all weren't using none of that intellect. Y'all just wanted to be a submissive bottom. You didn't care what trade was going to do to you. Because trade, in this instance, is the water. The depths of the ocean, girl. And what they're not saying is they probably were swallowed whole by a megalodon. I don't know if I said that right. But basically, they're saying there's a prehistoric, big-ass shark that's been living in the depths of the oceans, girl. Out here swallowing all kinds of big-ass marine life and other things. So... Y'all wanted to be a submissive bottom and go fuck around with dominant trade. Hello, God. And now y'all have been handled. And it may not be in the way y'all was looking to be handled, but girl, y'all been handled. I'm sorry to say, girl, but they say by this morning uh, that they probably more than likely ran out of air. Uh, girl. Girl, please. I don't feel bad. Y'all be doing dumb shit. Y'all be, and there's a waiver too, and a, there's been plenty of complaints from ex employees and other people that have helped construct this submissive bottom mechanism, girl, hell of God, um, who have been making complaints that this thing is not safe. It's just basically thrown together. And the fact that you guys are given a waiver to sign that basically outlines the fact that, girl, anything happens, child, while you're in our care, you can't blame us. We're not liable. And you know what? They're right. Y'all signed it. They shouldn't be liable for it. You're liable for your own stupidity, bitch. And in the words of Snoop Dogg, now your family's crying and because you in the news. The news can't stop talking about this buffoonery, this foolishness. These people are, thir from what, what is it, 13,000 feet deep into the ocean, girl. Apparently, we don't have any <laughs> other submissive bottoms, girl, <laughs> that can even go to those depths to retrieve this submissive, uh, the other submissive bottoms, girl. Like, come on, girl. Like, <laughs> y'all people to be doing shit, girl. I, girl, you get that kind of money in your lifetime, child. You, you live, live, live. Don't be out here playing with death. Don't be out here playing with your life. And they all white people, it seems like. Ain't no black piece of people gonna do all that. And let me tell y'all something. If for some reason they can't find this submissive bottom vehicle, girl, I think it was swallowed up by something. Yep. There's been a lot of tea out there in the marine world that proved that there is something very large in our oceans, girl. Blue whales, I believe, which are the biggest fucking mammals in the goddamn ocean, girl, getting swallowed up. Sharks, big ass great white sharks. Something even has orcas, which are the top apex predators of the ocean, girl, on the run. Y'all out here playing, girl, in elements that y'all have no business playing in, girl. We, our lungs are not, we don't have scales. We don't have fins. We don't have gills. We don't have anything natural to our biology that says, girl, we can survive in water. Why are we playing these reindeer games? You go into the water to swim real quick and get your ass the fuck out. And if you don't have the adequate technology, girl, or the adequate resources to be doing deep sea excursions, girl, then you need to keep your ass on the land, girl. 
feet planted in the sands of life, bitch, not the seas of life, because now y'all are gone. And for all we know, they might have discovered something they weren't supposed to discover and they were taken. Get into it. There's so many d different things that could have happened to these people. Someone said, oh, if they would have lost pressure, it all would have imploded. Everybody would have been disintegrated, girl. God would love for us to believe that part. But girl, maybe they ran upon something they weren't supposed to run upon, girl. And girl, they were taken, took him. Girl, please. Swallowed up whole by some deep sea creature, girl. You never know. But what do you expect, girl, when the whole entire submissive bottom vehicle is being controlled by a goddamn PlayStation remote, girl? And just because y'all have, and apparently y'all have had some mess happen in previous trips that y'all took. Even a couple of people that were supposed to be on this expedition backed out and requested a refund at the last minute. I know they're happy they did. They were following their spirit guides, girl. Hello. But the problem that I have is why didn't OSHA, why didn't a lot of these regulatory committees step in when people that worked closely on this sub a submissive bottom technology, girl, were making complaints and saying that this shit isn't safe, girl. This shit isn't safe. This shit's gonna get somebody killed one day. Why didn't the regulatory committee step in and say, girl, we have a problem with this. You need to get this together. This submissive bottom isn't working, girl. Y'all ever met a submissive bottom, girl? <laughs> and Trey just takes them. They thought they wanted it. But they didn't know that dominant trade was really going to be dominant on them. And this is what's happening, girl. Mm. Let this be a lesson, girl. Let the girl, if I had y'all money, I'd be chilling, girl, on land, breathing air. 13,000 feet beneath the ocean, girl. And then they said, girl, fuck all that other shit. They probably died not too long after because of the, the depths of the, the cold. Sunlight can't even reach halfway to where they're at. Girl, please. I hate to say this, y'all, but let her. Rich bitches with too much money and too much time on their hands. A father took his son down there with him, girl. Like, child, no Father's Day just passed and everything, girl. And now y'all done passed, more than likely. I ain't no luck here. These people are gone, honey. These people are gone. No matter what you, we think happened to them, her, these, the children are gone. <laughs> and maybe in some weird fucked up way, this was supposed to happen because Ocean Gate, um, the, the, I guess those are the, the that's the name of the company. Um, this might have been the only way that the issues, the malfunctions of them, of them all would have been called about now every news anchor every interviewer are, are now y'all asking the tough questions on why this machine this mechanism this submissive bottom was allowed to go under the sea under the water now y'all are gone why wasn't this taken why weren't these questions asked when people were whistleblowing the fuck out of the situation Y'all could have saved these people lives by shutting them down when the mechanics and when other people that worked for this company were, were making real complaints, filing real complaints. But when you have money, you can pay shit off, throw it under the carpet, let that shit be lost in the, in the system real quick before any real action is taken. All right, everybody. So we actually have an update in the case of the missing submissive bottom child. Um, it's crazy because I was just about to upload this video to YouTube when I got the text alert um, from the New York Times. And it reads, the missing Titanic submissive bottom suffered 
catastrophic implosion, and it more than likely killed all five people aboard. Um, girl, please, uh, not more than likely, it did. These people have passed on to the next life child. I already told y'all. Um, let's continue to read, though. I will not be reading this entire article. It's long as hell, um, but I'll get to the, the facts, okay? The, the, the real tea that we need to hear. All right, so uh, the article states that pieces of the missing Titan vessel were found on the ocean floor about 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic, the Coast Guard said. Ocean Gate Expeditions, the vessel's operator said, our hearts are with these five souls. So after days of searching, no hope of finding survivors remains. Here is the latest. The five people aboard the submissive bottom that went missing on Sunday were presumed dead on Thursday after an international search that gripped much of the world found debris from the vessel near the wreckage of the Titanic. A U.S. Coast Guard official said that the debris was consistent with a catastrophic implosion of the vessel. On Sunday, a secret U.S. network of acoustic sensors picked up indications of a possible implosion in the vicinity of the submissive bottom around the time communications with it were lost. A senior Navy official disclosed that on Thursday. The search continued because there was no immediate confirmation that the Titan had met a disastrous end, according to a second senior Navy official. Both officials spoke anonymously to discuss operational details. However, the revelation is likely to raise further questions about a vast multinational days-long search and rescue effort that has ended in complete failure. Those presumed lost on board were Stockton Rush, the chief executive of OceanGate, the company that operated the submissive bottom, who was piloting. The four passengers were a British businessman and explorer, Hamish Harding, a British Pakistani businessman, Shazada Dawood, excuse me if I'm butchering y'all's names, and his teenage son, Solman, and uh, also a French maritime expert, Paul Henry, who had been on over 35 dives to the Titanic's wreckage site. Girl, imagine you've been here 35 times and then on the 36th time, you go meet your maker. Girl, please. So here's what else um, we need to know, child. A remote control vehicle had located the debris from the Titan, including the submissive bottom's tail cone, about 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic on the ocean floor, according to Admiral Mager. Leaders in the submissive bottom's craft industry child warned for years of possible catastrophic problems with the vehicle's design. They also worried that Ocean Gate Expeditions had not followed standard certification procedures. Remember what I was saying, y'all, child? Y'all better learn y'all lesson. Uh, Ocean Gate has provided tours of the Titanic wreckage since 2021 for a price of up to $250,000 per person as part of a booming high-risk travel industry. The company has described the trip on its website as a thrilling and unique travel experience. My thing is, you got all that damn money, girl. You couldn't find better accommodations. You couldn't find something that was stable and sturdy and is not being controlled with a goddamn PlayStation remote. Anyway, girl. Um, the Titan squeezed five passengers into a tight space with no seats, only a flat floor and a single view port 21 inches in diameter. Girl, please. Um, just a little bit more. Um, secret Navy sensors detected a possible implosion around the time of the Titan's communications failure. The U.S. Navy using data from a secret network of underwater sensors designed to track hostile submarines detected an anomaly consistent with an implosion or explosion in the vicinity of the Titan's submissible, um, oh my bad, submissive bottom at the time. Communications with the vessel were lost on Sunday, two senior officials said on Thursday. But with no other indications of a catastrophe, one of the officials said that the search was continued. The data from the sensors was combined with information from airborne Navy P-8 surveillance planes and sonar buoys on the surface to triangulate the approximate location of the Titan. One of the officials said, the analysis of undersea acoustic data and information about the location of the noise were then passed on to the Coast Guard official in charge of the search. Now, because there was no visual or other conclusive evidence of a catastrophic failure, 
One of the officials said it would have been irresponsible to immediately assume the five passengers were actually dead, and the search was ordered to continue even though the outlook appeared grim. Both of the Navy officials spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss operational details. It was not immediately clear how widely the Navy's acoustical analysis was disseminated among the search team, nor why the Navy had not made it public earlier. The Navy's acoustic analysis from the secret sensor network was first reported by the Wall Street Journal, bitch. Girl, um, that's all I have. May they rest. May they rest. Yes, honey, another great workout day. This is my third day in a row this week, so I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Because a week before last, I was doing my thing, honey, okay? Whew, girl. But before I get into what I came here to talk about, I just want to say this. And I don't mean any disrespect, but some of the clothes that y'all be wearing in the gym. Okay, let me rephrase it. Some of the clothes that I have bared witness to while going to the gym. Girl, especially the men. If you are not muscle shirt, tights ready type of body, bitch. Those, those are the type of clothes that you wear when you have finally arrived or you're about to arrive to your destined place of fitness, girl, okay? Girl, if you have a 600-pound life body, girl, you do not need a muscle shirt. I'm surprised you were able to fit into that. There's this one chick that was in here, girl, built like Humpty Dumpty. Hello, God, like a whole sphere. Hello, God, even though that's an egg, which means that'd be more of an oval vibe. But, girl, she was built like a planet, with some cracks in it <laughs> girl some craters girl and it's just like why are you wearing all of this tight shit why 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 I'm just thinking to myself, like, you're supposed to wear form-fitting clothes and tight clothes. And, you know, when you're when you're almost there, you know, like you can do like me, a little cut-off shirt or whatever, girl. You don't see me here wearing no damn muscle shirts. Can y'all shut the fuck up, please? Because y'all a little too loud. Girl. No offense to the people who speak different languages. Why y'all got to be so loud? Why, why, y'all right next to each other? I'm just saying, though, like, I find that with Spanish, with Creole girl, with with anybody, especially um, Middle Eastern people, child, y'all are loud as fuck, bitch. But yeah, girl, like, I, I just feel like y'all need to be, some of y'all look like y'all just starting out. And again, I'm not shaming nobody. It's just like, girl, like, cover up, girl. Don't nobody want to see your back fat. Don't nobody want to see all of that droop that drippity drop girl <laughs> okay no one I don't want to look at that I'm sorry I, no no girl no I don't want to see your third boob cover that shit the fuck up okay and actually you'll lose more weight you'll burn more calories hello god if you cover up you see I don't know y'all don't see it because I'm always doing my videos like this but I wear a hoodie when I go into the gym I have made that my staple now. I wear my Superman hoodie, bitch, hello God, while in the gym because I burn more, okay? And I'm not even yet beyond ready to show myself like that. There's a lot of big fitness dudes in here too. You wouldn't think they have the body they have because they have so much clothes on. But girl, when I see these niggas in the locker room, they are cut the hell up. So that's all I wanna say, girl. Y'all start covering up, girl. Don't nobody wanna see all that. You haven't, and then y'all be walking like the Terminator. Girl, only thing you terminating is that motherfucking buffet, bitch, when you leave this motherfucker. You ain't turn, huh? Girl, let's tell the truth. Again, I don't mean no disrespect, but we have to start watching that shit. Watch what the fuck it is that y'all are wearing. And bitch, you don't need to throw your lights on at me. I know where I need to go. 
Hello, bitch. Oh, girl, speaking of being a fat bitch, I felt a little Spanish inspired today. So I'm doing homemade tostones with, oh, girl. Uh, homemade tostones with um, yellow rice, black beans, uh, baked chicken, hello God, and I'm gonna make my own creme sauce. It's creme, you know, creme, crema, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Shit. All I know is that bitch is gonna be good, girl. Hello God. <laughs> girl, please. Anyway, that's all I got for right now, child. Um, I gotta get into the store. I need to get some rice. I need to buy um, some more oil. Believe it or not, I've never actually made homemade tostones, but it's easy as hell, girl. I already got the plantains, child. I just gotta cut them down, smash them up, season her, throw her in some grease, girl, fry her the hell up, and uh, she'll be ready. Yes, girl. Anyway, y'all, be blessed and never stressed, and you know I'm um, buenos noches, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Bye.